Hey everybody, it's Captain Kyle and I'm here with another Earthspark Transformer. It is Bumblebee. Yes, he also includes the Build-A-Figure. And yes, he's a sports car, not a Volkswagen Beetle. Upgrades for everyone. And I'll be busting him out of this package and we'll be exploring both his robot mode and his vehicle mode to see if he will fit into your collection. Be right back. Now, before I get into Bumblebee, I do want to point out this awesome Me Grimlock No Like You shirt that I got from ADTs.com, and they are sponsoring this video. They have all kinds of Transformers shirts. It's an amazing selection, and you can get 30% off your next order by using the coupon code TOYSPOTLIGHT80. Thanks so much to ADTs.com for sponsoring this video, and uh, be sure to visit them soon. But first, mm, let's... Uh, Bust out Bumblebee. All right, my little blade to slice open the tape so we can get this mofo out of this package. And there we go. We have this little piece of shit. We have instructions. We have goodies, which look like they include a weapon for Bumblebee and an arm for Mandroid. Yes, it is the arm for Mandroid. Ooh. Again, once I get all the pieces together, we'll do a Mandroid video. Three down, four to go for Mandroid. But, well, there he is attached to this cardboard prison, but not for long. We'll make short work of those bonds and break out Bumblebee. Now, first thing I will say, he's light. He doesn't feel like he has a lot of substance to him, but he's a decent representation of the character on the show. He's got this weird little bumble gun. I'll call it a bumble gun. And he'll fall over while I look and see. It doesn't actually give a name for his gun, but if he doesn't want to carry it, he can apparently pop it onto his back for weapon storage, which is nice, because you know, there are times when you need both hands and not a gun. Bumblebee is actually an Autobot. Now in the new Earthspark series, there's this ghost organization of which Optimus Prime and Megatron and other Transformers are a part, but he is, uh, actually you're supposed to put it upside down on the back. Whoopsie. But Bumblebee's been in hiding. I don't know exactly the reason, but he still retains his Autobot symbol and isn't out there with Optimus Prime in the public eye. But he came out of hiding to train the Terran new Transformers who I guess could be considered good guys, Autobots now. So taking a look at him, he does have ball joints on his feet. So he kind of has ankle rockers somewhat so he can get into some dynamic poses. His legs can go all the way into a full Jean-Claude Van Damme. Woohoo! He bends at the knee. He does have swivels right above the knee so you can turn his legs to the side, and he's got a pretty good range of motion there. We're gonna put the gun aside. No twisting at the waist. The waist does not twist. But his arms, well, he's got these big ass shoulder pads because he never left the 80s, and they swivel, so the entire arm swivels along with it. The arm underneath can actually move back and forth independently, can bend at the elbow, and it does swivel because that is a simple ball joint, as you can see by looking at the back of his arm. There's his back view, by the way, not too kibbly. So the arms move, he can also kind of shrug. The head does turn, as expected, with most modern Transformers, and it eh, can kind of move back and forth a little bit for nodding just barely imperceptibly, giving somebody a hint, I don't know. But there he is, dynamic posing. Now, again, he's supposed to be bigger than Twitch, but the toy is not. Scaling has never been a really big priority for Hasbro. So he's just a scooch taller than five inches. So he's like Megatron size, which again, scaling. He's got his wheels here on the back of his legs. So that's a little kibbly, but still a good representation of the character. Feels kind of like a Cyberverse Bumblebee or a Bumblebee Adventures type toy, but slightly different. Not bad. So good posability in the bot. Nothing has popped off yet, which is good. He transforms with 10 steps. 
into his vehicle mode. So let's check that out. And he is a bit of a shelf former because like the entire top of his car kind of flips out, but I've seen worse. I'm sorry, he actually has 21 steps. Wow. And there he is in vehicle mode. He doesn't roll too bad. I mean, some of the Earthrise and other stuff kind of rolled like shit. This is actually pretty good. Weapon storage is on his roof, so he can still fire, and it actually covers up his Autobot symbol, so he's a little bit more of a robot in disguise. See, there's his Autobot symbol, and now you can't see it. There you go. He's a cool looking sports car. He does have the doors that seem to want to open, but the transformation kind of locks them into place. So the bottom, you can see his face, you can see everything. So he's not the most complex of Transformers, even though it's 21 steps. It's little tiny itty bitty stuff that really you kind of do all at once. So, but he's a pretty good sports car. The back, you can kind of see he's got these nice tail lights, but he's got this weird I don't know if that gives away the fact that he's a robot, but the back kind of has the uh, leg joints type things. It's still a very cool looking sports car. If uh, this, such a sports car as this existed, my friend Scott would probably buy it. So he's not bad. He doesn't quite feel as cheap as uh, the other Earthrise figures, though still kind of light, but a good representation of the character on the show. And if you're a Bumblebee fan or a fan of Earthspark, definitely recommend him. He will go into my Bumblebee case. Yes, I have a Bumblebee case. There's a lot of Bumblebees in there, including a keychain. So he is available at uh, many retail providers out there. I'll put links in the description. And if you're watching this later on, there's even a link to eBay so you can find him on there if you so choose. And while you're debating about this guy, I do want to remind you that 80stees.com is sponsoring this video. Head over to 80stees.com to get awesome shirts like this one and use Toy Spotlight 80 as a coupon code so you can get 30% off your order. And while you're deciding if you want a cool Bumblebee shirt, or if you'd rather be a Decepticon, and if you're deciding whether or not you want to get this one, you can also check out this video over here where we look at the Buzzworthy Bumblebee three pack, which includes a similar sports car version of Bumblebee and Optimus and Cheetor to boot. And we will see you next time. As always, have fun and good hunting.